Hi folks, we're back again and this is the next uh, interview with uh, Fred Henderson. Uh, he's part of the Lancaster County Woodcarvers Associate well, group for about the last 20 years. Is that right, Fred? Yes. Okay, and Fred does horses and carousels and ducks and birds yes. as well. Okay, and uh, he's, he's a master carver and we're going to show you how the carousel is put together and he's going to show you and explain to you briefly how it's done. Go ahead, Fred. Right. I, uh, all right. That's all right. That fell out. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's okay. But, uh, the eyes are already, they cut the eyes out and I put the eyes in just like that. Okay. Uh, I uh, carved my legs separate okay. and my tail separate. Right. And also my head separate. Um, so it's actually pieces put together. Pieces put together. I see that. Uh, I'll take this head out. Okay. And that comes out. Super. Okay. The, the uh, neck comes off. Oh wow. Okay. So there's a larger piece of wood in that yes. section. I oh. Okay. Out. Awesome. Um, All right. And the legs. You can see the feet are separate. Oh. Okay. That. Um, when is this a, how all carousels are put together, basically? The part. Is this how all carousels are put together? Yes, uh, okay. that's the way they, the old timers did it when they did it. Okay. Uh, and when you um, put the grate, when you uh, do your legs, you got to make sure the grain runs straight with the leg. Okay. And when you um, on this bench here. I use one inch lumber and I usually make them two inches wide. Okay. And also the reason I do that is this also gives you a center line so you get to equalize it. Okay. And when it's a bent, I overlap the lumber to give it strength. Okay. Um, and on tail back here, it it has a real real nice lens that goes around the leg. Okay. Now this is done by building up segments of wood. Okay. So you are layering it and layering cutting it, it as uh, you go. It's what's called, it's like called veneering. Okay. And uh, that's basically how it's done. Awesome. And then the head gets put on. Can you and put that on for them again? Yes, Just I can. show them how that works out. Well, you better put the neck on first. Oh, the neck. Okay. That will help. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, now, I, the head will be completely finished. And this way you can also turn the head, correct? I mean, have it tilt one way or the other. Well, it's already set now. Yeah, but I mean, before, it, because you're doing it in sections, you can turn it. Yes, I can. Perfect. Yes, I can. Okay. And uh, the reason why all the head is done separately is because there are some places you just can't get on your knees. When it's when it's together, when okay. It's together. Okay. And also, the grain runs different directions. The grain of the head runs up and uh, down. Up and down. Also, so the ears won't snap off and it won't chip off because the grain runs up and down. Okay. I'm going to show them a finished piece of yours. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, Andy was explaining this is a, a gold. Gold leaf. Gold leaf. Okay. Um, Beautifully done. And that one, first, first place in advanced class. So yes. that's today, um, June the 4th, well, yesterday, was June the 4th, uh, it won at the competition we had here. Well, thank you very much, Fred, for your time. Okay, thank you. Super. Take care.